laminar flow is when water is moving so smoothly that you can't really even tell it's moving at all. Did somebody say laminar flow? I like laminar flow. Recently I made a short about this phenomenon and between platforms it got over 18 million views and people had a ton of questions. So today I'm gonna answer some of those. That's a great laminar flow. Terrible laminar. The first thing I ever did with laminar flow was show how to build a hose nozzle on the King of Random. It lets you attach a garden hose and when turned on, it'll shoot out a smooth laminar water stream. This one here is exactly the same as the one I built on the King of Random, so if you want to learn how to build this, go watch that video, and then you'll end up with this awesome, smooth, clear tube of water. An easier way to start with laminar flow is using balloons. Simply fill the balloon with water, slap on some tape in a square, and then pop it within the tape. The first question I got asked a lot about was the tape. Why electrical? Well, one reason is because it's a little stretchy, and second, it's mostly waterproof, so even if the balloon is wet, it'll still hold on pretty well. Other types of tape could work as well. I also had several people ask why the tape was necessary at all. What would happen if you just didn't add the tape? It's a balloon. That's what happens. Should also add, it's pretty good here. It's not so good here. That's because we're adding in new forces. Air currents and gravity are getting added and those create new turbulence. So looks great down on this end. A little sad over on that one. Oh, got too excited there. At the beginning of the video and in my short, I said that laminar flow is when a liquid moves so smoothly you can't see that it's moving. Well, that's only partially true. How it looks isn't the defining feature of laminar flow. A lot of people had comments about the Reynolds number. Reynolds number is a calculation of the turbulence of fluid in a given system. But while the Reynolds number is useful in figuring out if a system will be laminar or turbulent, it doesn't define whether it's laminar or not. So while a Reynolds number of 2300 or 2000 may be an upper limit below which flow is always laminar, it still can be laminar at much higher Reynolds numbers in certain conditions. The real definition of laminar flow is that water is moving in sheets or layers that aren't mixing or swirling. Now, a lot of people thought this was a camera trick, something to do with lining up the shutter speed with the flow of the water, but no. This is the effect where you sync your camera with the rate of the water's movement. Let's look at how this is set up. How do we get that effect of the water just floating there in the air? So I've just got a thin stream of water coming through this pretty flexible tube and it's just taped to the cone of this speaker. When the speaker moves at the tone that we set it, it starts bouncing this tube up and down. If we sync the bounce just right with the camera, we will capture the water at a low point and a high point, but the exact same low point and high point over and over. So it looks like it's frozen there when really it's just vibrating really fast. First, I want to show what it actually looks like to the naked eye, not on camera. No floating water droplets. But when we sync the frame rate and the shutter speed, 60 frames per second here. When we change the tone frequency, cool things happen. 59. 58. 57. Let's try 56 just for the heck of it. And now 61. There were several comments asking why the balloon didn't appear to be shrinking in the short. There were two primary reasons for that. First, the hole just isn't that big and the water isn't leaving the balloon that fast. Second, in order to get enough footage of the laminar flow, we did several takes and used multiple balloons of the same color, so it was a little bit of a trick. Mm. Recapping what we've gone over today. 
Laminar flow is when water moves smoothly in layers without mixing. You can achieve this by building a device that attaches to your hose. But a much easier way is by taking a balloon, adding a tape square, and poking a hole in the balloon. It won't work 100% of the time, but it's pretty consistent. This looks exactly the same in person as it does on camera. There is no trick to it, and it's very easy to do. Another separate demonstration involves using equipment and careful camera settings called water aliasing. This involves moving water at a specific rate and pattern and setting your camera to capture the water just right to make it look like it's not moving. This does not work in person, and it is only visible using a camera. I'd also like to acknowledge that Captain Dissolution has already made a great video about this five years ago. I consider it a highlight of my YouTube career that I actually appear in that video a few times. Alright, if we didn't answer any of your questions, let us know in the comments, maybe we'll do another video. As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. If you're interested in joining our Patreon supporters, the link for that is down in the description.